It is Statehood Day is. in Tennessee, and the state's celebrating a new state song. Get this, we now have more than 10 official tracks. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald tells us the story behind the newest addition. When it comes to state symbols, Tennessee has quite a few. At one point, more than any other state. My favorite is the flag with the three stars. That's my favorite symbol. With 12, what Tennessee does have is the most state songs. Such as Tennessee Waltz and Rocky Top and Ronnie Millsap's Smoky Mountain Rain. Songwriter Debbie Watts is a Tennessee history buff. Because truth is stranger than fiction and you can't make this stuff up. During her quest to learn about every Tennessee song, she wrote one. As I cross the Mississippi, headed eastbound through Memphis. The song is like a travelogue. It kind of takes you across the state, I hope. To become an official state song, the songwriter state representatives had to get involved. They took the song to the General Assembly, which voted on it just like any other legislation. On the day that I was notified that it had happened, I said to myself, I'll never complain. I'll never complain again about anything <laughs> because this has happened and uh, it's just so special. When you think about it, it makes sense. There are so many state songs. The songs that have become official Tennessee state songs are as varied and as diverse as the three sections of Tennessee are in their, the way they're delivered, the style of music, you know, some of them are a uh, little rocky, some of them are a little bluegrassy, some of them are ballads. Watts hopes her song catches someone's ear. They would understand. In Hendersonville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5. It's the Tennessee in me. Such a pretty song, and if you were out there at 8 this morning, you got to see Debbie Watts perform The Tennessee in Me.